Yep. Someone who ghosted you, Cancer, is coming back. This is someone who withdrew from you, someone who isolated you. No, this is someone who gave you the silent treatment, okay? Someone who completely withdrew from you, okay? They're coming back, coming back with an apology, coming back with something substantial, okay? They want this communication coming in. This is substantial communication. I'm getting someone who was, who, who betrayed you, okay? Like a cheater or a liar. But someone definitely who has a habit of ghosting you, okay? Every time life hits them hard, okay? Till things are okay, I mean, and fine, and it's all a fairy tale, they're okay. The moment shit hits them hard, maybe till you want something very, very solid, something committed, something stable, that's when they ghost you. And this could be someone who keeps giving you mixed signals, all right? Because they, they keep getting into a hermit mode. Yeah. But someone's coming out of isolation, okay? This is someone who wants to return back to you and they're coming in with something, like I said, like a small offer, but it holds value. How do you see yourself in this connection, Cancer? How do you see yourself in this connection? Whoa. Wow. It's like the sun plus the tower in reverse and the devil here. Okay, now Cancer, whoever's on this side, right? This is someone who's addicted to you or this is someone who's addicted to the other person here, okay? With the devil here. This is someone who feels very tied, bound and restricted to this connection. But someone who's obsessed and addicted, okay? Now with the tower reverse here, looks like there has been a tower moment between you guys and this person had no choice but to change, Okay. There, could, there is a breakup or a separation, like I said, with a hermit here, okay? You guys could have stayed separated. It could have been a very bad breakup here, okay? But definitely someone uh, who um, could have just, you know, not responded to your emails, etc. Or, you know, to your text messages, okay? But this is someone who went within, you know, just to do a lot of thinking about what's going on in this connection. Someone who needed the time alone, right? And this person's coming back to rebuild this connection with you because the foundation of this connection was uh, not very strong, okay? The tower is actually a very good tower. Most of the time it is good, you know. I don't know why people get scared of the tower. But the tower is, it, a, it is a very uncomfortable change, but that change is required, okay? Now, this change comes in either to rebuild a connection from scratch to make it a very strong foundation or it comes in to completely destroy things and start something new okay now it's going to be up to you if whether you want to accept this person or not but this person is very obsessed with you but with the devil here this person is very toxic at the same time okay look seven of swords in reverse yeah someone who's feeling very guilty is wanting to come back okay this is someone returning back but this person has a tendency of doing this okay this could be someone who's very on and off you know they have a tendency of to keep running back to you all right so be very careful about that all right tell me about this person here how does this person see themselves in the connection how does this person on the side see themselves in this connection with cancer? Three of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles in the first year. Now I'm getting two things here, okay? Either <coughs> whoever's on this side here, right? This is someone who's wanting to work on a partnership, okay, or wanting to redo the connection, but at the same time, they're very shut off, okay. This is someone who is in two minds right now, okay. They want it, they don't want it, they're not sure. But right now, they're very, very focused on themselves, very, very greedy with their energy, okay, and they're just. So I think, as this could be you, who's just not focused on this person, who's wanting to come back and wanting to work on this connection, okay. Although if this is you with the Three of Pentacles, yes, it is in your intentions. You're wanting to rebuild with this person. But at the same time here, I feel right now, you're not investing into them. The other thing I also get is here, is that probably you're thinking about investing into this, but at the same time, what I'm also getting is that you could be working on yourself right now, okay? Because the three of pen, you have only pentacles, okay? This person has pentacles on their side. This is someone very focused on their money, business, career, goals, etc. But rather than building themselves up, you know, from scratch, but trying to give their focus, the, trying to make their focus, their, um, their uh, like I said, right? Their, their profession or just their financial goals, all right? So that's what I'm getting here. One person is coming in. To work things out after the town moment, wanting to rebuild the connection, wanting to redo the damage. I mean, the breakup that could have happened between you guys, it could have felt like, you know, the damage is done and there is nothing that can be repaired. But this person is still coming in, okay? This could also be someone who's wanting to avoid a disaster, okay? Because they think if they lose you, 
I mean, shh, you know, it's like the shit is going to hit the roof. So they're coming in, okay? Because again, the devil, they cannot help it. They have a huge codependency on you. You on the other hand here, it looks like you're very focused on yourself. Three of Pentacles is also collaboration. You could be collaborating with people or you could just be building your own uh, business or your career, okay? But you're just not giving any energy to this person here. All right, what action will this person take on this side? What action will this person take? Yeah, King of Wands in reverse with the Four of Cups here. This person has a lot of passion for you, okay? They're very disappointed, very disappointed with the way things went, all right? This person is just being a pussy right now because they fear rejection. They know they screwed up. They know they fucked up. And now with the Four of Cups here, this person does not know if you're going to be ready to accept their offer. This is definitely someone who's been breadcrumbing you, okay? And there was a lot of emotional dissatisfaction around the situation. You know, they kept giving you small, small baits to keep you within the relationship here. But now this time around, when they genuinely want to give you an offer, right? They're not sure if you're going to take it. And they're fearing that you're just going to blow them away. You're going to blow it off. That's why they're holding back. They're still not taking action because they're very, they're not confident right now. They're lacking the confidence to come towards you. They're in two minds right now. I saw the two of pentacles. They're in two minds right now. Should I, should I not? They're trying to weigh out the pros and cons. More than anything, I know they're coming back towards you, but they're trying to see which is the best way or waiting for the right time or waiting for the best approach to make towards you. What action will this person take towards um, cancer? The person this side. What action will this person take? Wow. You really want this person, do you? This person really, really wants you. They have the Wheel of Fortune with the Death in Reverse here. Not only do you... I mean, so both of you can't let this go. Both of you can't let this go. Neither are they wanting to uh, accept the ending, nor are you, okay? What action will you take with the Wheel of Fortune and Death in Reverse here, right? I think... I think you're wanting to go towards this person too. Okay, you refuse to accept this ending. You're not letting them go. You know what? I think you're very contradicted here because of the wheel of fortune. You, know, you do want a positive change, but you're not ready to do anything about it. I feel you just left left things to the to destiny. You feel if it's going to be, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But at the same time, you're you're holding on to them. See, that's why we see the three of pentacles here, right? Where you want to work towards them, but again, you're just trying to divert your mind and focus all the attention on. Um, you know, you're trying to see. How can I put it? You're trying to divert your mind, put it into something else, put it into the material aspects, okay? But it's more like a diversion technique, okay? It's trying to, you're trying to numb the pain. You're trying to just, you know, distract yourself from this person. But deep down within, when it comes to your actions, you don't want to let them go. You're not letting them go, you know? Come on. <laughs> That's why you're watching the reading, right? But yeah, Wheel of Fortune, you do want a turning point, okay? You want some positive change out here. But I think with the Wheel of Fortune here, you want that positive change, you want that growth there, but you're just going to wait for the right time. Eight of Pentacles. And while you do that, you're working on yourself. Tell me, how does this person view, how does this person view this person? All right, or let's say, how does Cancer view this person? So whoever's on this side, right, this person views you as someone who they have a lot of love for or who has a lot of love for them, okay, and with the aid of wants here, they view you as someone who is very, very communicative, okay. They definitely view you as someone, you know, um, so you view them as someone who has a lot of love for them, okay, and they're very emotional. And with eight of wands here, they know that they want to, that you want to communicate. They're very confident that you will and that you want to, okay. With the eight of wands here, this is someone who wants fast movement, okay. Eight of wands is also the card of traveling, okay. So they could also view you as someone you know who wants to travel to them or they want to travel towards you, okay. They do know. They know somewhere somehow that you want a brand new beginning with them too in love. Or, but they're very sure that you love them as much as they love you. They view you as someone very, very emotional, but someone who's got unconditional love and someone who's very, very psychic and at the same time someone who trusts their intuition. Okay. They view you as someone very, very mature and very loving and very giving. 
and Vatheta wants you, they know that this is, um, they're in love with you, okay, because Vatheta wants you, this is Cupid's arrow, right, so yeah, they see you at a distance, but they want to cover the distance as soon as possible, but they do see you as someone who is really very good in communication, okay, all right, now this side, how does this person view cancer? Five of Swords in Reverse and the Two of Swords here. Yeah. So Cancer, this person views you as someone who's done with their mind games, okay, and who's fed up, who's done sabotaging the connection, and someone who wants a reconciliation. They know you want a reconciliation, but with the Two of Swords here, yeah, they see you not making a decision. So either they see you as you block them out, okay, or you just refuse to see the reality for what it is. I'm getting that this person feels that you have a lot of regret about whatever you did or whatever happened in the past, okay. But they see you as someone who's living in denial. You refuse to see the reality for what it is and no, you don't want to address the elephant in the room. That's how they see you. But they do see you as someone who wants to come back and or someone who's wanting to end uh, their sabotaging ways, you're letting your guards down and they know that you're coming back towards them. You want to return to them, okay? This is someone, you know, who you're dealing with. Uh, they could be seeing you as someone who wants to win under any cause or this could be the person you're dealing with. Someone who wants to win at any cause, okay? And they will do anything and go up to any extent, okay? To get the upper hand here. But yeah, they're done with their ways. They're done with their ways. They're done being guarded. They're done pushing your way. But yeah, this person views you as someone who's definitely having a lot of regret, you know, they're watching you walk away. But now you're stuck in your head. You're just not making a decision, keeping things on hold. What's the blockage of the challenge of this connection? Okay, one thing I'm getting here is that finances could be an issue here, okay, with the five of pentacles here. Someone's very codependent out here, okay, on the other person here. Either this is someone who's codependent on the other person financially, or this is just someone here who's got that lack mindset, okay? They have everything that they need. They can do it on their own. But they just have that lack mindset where someone feels that they're not good enough for the other person here. Or maybe someone just feels that they don't have enough to have a stable, secure life with the other person here. But it's all about the security, the stability, the material aspect which I'm getting here. But someone is constantly doubting themselves, okay? Someone who needs a lot of growing up to do. One person here constantly need the other, needs the other person to take care of them. That's what's happening here. Very passive. Again, codependent energy is what I'm getting, okay? About the Ten of Pentacles here, that's one of the reasons. That's why there is this uh, uh, lack of stability and security within the relationship. But I think money is a very big issue out here, okay? Someone is just... Um, very codependent on the other person or um, uh, wanting the other person to provide for them okay but i'm getting money because of, and it's a lack mindset okay that's the biggest blockage out here you can be okay on your own okay but this is just one person here who's just like i cannot do it without you you know i need you i want you you know that clingy needy energy one person needs to get rid of that because of which the stability security you're just not reaching that point of commitment with this person here because this person just is very insecure they don't feel good enough okay this person could be someone who feels very lonely isolated someone who just you know they just feel lonely you know all the time and they always need the other person's approval is what i'm getting what's the immediate future of this connection what is the immediate future of this connection King of Swords in reverse and the star in reverse here. Looks like there is going to be a lack of communication out here. Okay, someone's still not. Okay, I'm getting two scenarios here. I thought there is someone here who's not going to talk, not going to open up. Someone's holding back communication, holding back the truth from being revealed, suppressing the truth. This is a lot of manipulation is what I'm getting because with the star in reverse here, I feel this is one person here who's losing hope and faith that things will ever work out. Okay, someone's just, just given up on this connection is what I'm getting. Okay. 
or this is one person here because there is no communication, right? So that the person is also losing hope and faith, whatever. Communication, someone's holding back communication, which is one of the biggest reasons why the other person is giving up, okay? And the reason why there is so that giving up energy is because there is just no faith and hope. Universe is testing your faith, you know, of how much faith you have in the universe that they will give things to you at the right time and you'll be at the right place, okay? Something is divine, very destined, very fated out here, okay? The star in reverse is where things will work out but it will work out at the right time okay but one person here is giving up too fast okay or someone who just doesn't have faith that even if they come to the other person here they're not going to be accepted okay someone might just like it, things may just end badly here that's what they're afraid of and that's why they're just holding back communication although communication is the most important thing that should that uh should be done here so i feel there is going to be communication here because we see the page of pentacles here but i think the other person is going to shut them out you're going to cut them off they're going to cut you off poor webs communicating right yeah one person is going to be cut off there's going to be um that um i don't want to talk to you kind of energy you know like a blocking just blocking but yeah someone lacks that positive mindset out here but communication is key in this, okay? If communicated in the right way. Maybe the page of pentacles is someone who comes in with a small ass offer, okay? But that's not something that this other person wants or that's not something that you want, Cancer. You probably want something more stable, something more um, appropriate or something that uh, holds more value. Like you, you'd want the king here because you're showing up as the queen here. But uh, they're coming up as the, as the page and that's not something that you would want to entertain. I don't think you're going to entertain this person when they come in to communicate. That's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below if this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will go.